Sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I got another out of the park game for you. This is going to be the White Sox versus the Red Sox, but it's going to be the Red, the White Sox and Red Sox based on just throwing players together on each team from throughout history. So these players are from all different eras, all different years. And they're all thrown in, they were thrown in randomly uh, by the computer. And, and strangely, I am not the White Sox manager in this. I am the Red Sox manager. Decided to do a little change and I became the Red Sox manager for this um, particular season. I thought this might be a little bit more interesting than doing the, uh, you know, late... Um, 1800s season that I was doing before. So um, as you can see right here, we've got a matchup screen that shows the uh, the matchup, the lineups. The White Sox team you can see has uh, Benintendi on it um, instead of being, and he's not on the Red Sox. And uh, I guess Bobby Wallace, Tony Phillips, King Kelly, Ira Flagstead, Craig Grayback, who actually ironically did play for the White Sox, um, Sarah, Sarah, Sarabia, I don't know him, and pitching for the White Sox will be Roy Halladay. So on our team, we have David Holst in center field, um, Duffy Lewis in left, Luis Salazar in right, Jeff Kent at second, Lance Parrish at catcher, um, Tony Clark at first base, Casey Blake at third, and Daryl Spencer at short, and we have Kid Madden pitching. I don't even know who Kid Madden ever was, but I guess we're going to find out how good he really was. So we will get started with the game. And this is in a seasonal format, so I can come back to this season from time to time whenever I want. I also decided to do the uh, change the camera angle so that it starts um, from the uh, behind home plate instead of having the overview the entire time. So you got uh, Benintendi batting against Kid um, Madden. So we will throw the pitch. And get this game underway. Playing in Fenway. Love that Fenway view. And he's going to be out. Ben Benintendi's retired. And up steps Bobby Wallace. I was right. Bobby Wallace. I, yeah, I just... Uh, the name is familiar. I don't really know much about him. I don't know much about a few, quite a few of these players. But I do know that Kid Madden got the first two guys out. And Tony Phillips, remember that guy? He could get on base. That dude could really get on base. Right there, he grounds out to second, though. And the White Sox are retired in the first. And we come up to our bottom of the first. And David Hulse, who used to play for the Texas Rangers, if you recall, I believe. And he's going to ground out. He was speedy. I know he was fast. Duffy Lewis. Duffy Lewis, actually, I want to say, actually did play for the Red Sox. I'm not sure, but um, leave a comment below because I'm not going to bother to look that up. Luis Salazar, I know he was on um, the Padres. I remember him on the Padres. And Jeff Kent, of course, belongs in the Hall of Fame if he isn't. And I don't think he is yet. Um, but, of course, the Giants and Mets power hitting second baseman. So it's 0-0 zero, zero after the first. Kid Madden back out there pitching to King Kelly. Now, King Kelly is legendary. He actually was the guy responsible for changing the uh, substitution rule where you couldn't just substitute in the middle of an inning uh, because he famously came off the bench 
uh, on a foul ball that was over near the bench, and he said, Kelly now catching, and then he caught the ball. And from that time on, they uh, changed the rules so that you had to make the substitution between innings. Sam, Sam Watton is up. Murray. Who is, wait, Sam Watton. It was supposed to be, oh, look, it, they threw a rainbow over to first. Oh, that, that was a batter. Okay. And now Craig Graybeck is up. Kid Madden pitching to him. Um, Craig Graybeck. He did not really get a hold of that, though. I, I was making it sound a little bit more impressive than it actually was. Lance Parrish. Of course, he was the famous Tigers catcher. And he struck out by... Mr. Halliday, the Doc, Doc Halliday. Tony Clark, who is now the uh, Players Association um, head, head of the Players Association. Or no. Yeah, I think he is. Um, and uh, Casey Blake. We got two down, nobody on. And that's going to be a ground to first, and we're out of the inning. And so the White Sox are back up with Alexis Sarabia. I don't know who, I have no idea who Alexis Sarabia was. Uh, let's see, how fast is that guy? He's pretty fast. So let's do, uh, we're going to throw to first. And then we're going to pitch out. And he's not going anywhere. So now we're just going to pitch. And they're trying to bunt him over with Roy Halliday, no doubt. And they throw Halliday out at first, but he does sacrifice the runner over to second. And that brings up Andrew Benintendi with a man at second and one out. And he's going to hit a fly to center. Hulse, I would think, would grab that, and he does. And Bobby Wallace... Again, don't know much about Bobby Wallace, but I do remember the name. Throws him out, and the White Sox get nothing there. My Red Sox are up uh, with Daryl Spencer up. Daryl Spencer, um, I'm assuming he was a real guy. I don't remember, though, um, who he was or how good he was. Now, Kid Madden is up. Um, I really hate bunting. I'm going to swing away. And he is going to hit the ball to the outfield, which wasn't too bad, I mean, for a pitcher. David Hulse up, and he is out. He doubles the man off first base. So, no runs. We're going to the top of the fourth in a scoreless game here of these two all-time teams. And they're not even really the all-time, like, Red Sox and White Sox. They're just all-time players from throughout history all thrown on to different teams and King Kelly might have a hit and it looks like he does he's probably fast I'm guessing he is extremely fast we'll throw to first and then we will pitch out and he isn't going anywhere but he, he might now and he does and they don't have a chance at him 70 runner you would expect that so two down though and sam watton is up i again i also don't know who sam watton is to save my life but craig grayback no i know craig grayback being a white Sox fan and he walked to load the bases so now uh we've got uh Sarabia is up, and he is out, and we get out of the inning. So, uh, let's see here. Duffy Lewis is up at the plate, and he hits the ball to center. Probably going to be played, and it is. Luis Salazar, and he's out, two down, it's a good game. Jeff Kent, let's see if he can jack one out of here. 
He does hit one to the wall. Looks like it's going to be a double for Ken. Nice. So Kent at second and Lance Parrish up. And Lance Parrish hits one. Is it going to score Kent? Let's see. Kent round base uh, try to score. The ball is very shallow. Kent is a fast runner. And Alexis Arabia has a cannon for an arm. I'm going to say no. We're going to hold up and let Tony Clark try to knock that run in. And it doesn't look like he's going to, and he doesn't. So we're still scoreless. Don't know if I, you know, leave a comment. Should I have tried to send the runner there? Don't know. Anyway, we got Kid Madden is still not really tired yet. And that's good because it's only the top of the fifth. And I suspect he probably is a guy that was from back in the day. And if he was, whoa, is that gone? No, it's, no, it's a deep fly. And if he was from back in the day, he should have plenty of stamina. Bobby Wallace. And Bobby Wallace is going to hit a shallow fly, and it's playable and played. And that is the third out. They go one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Scoreless game between the Sox. The Soxes. Casey Blake is up against Doc Halliday. And he walks. You notice how that um, wind-up by Halliday is his real wind-up, too. At least it looks like it to me. All right, so that's a double play. So we're down, two, do two down now. And Kid Madden up, might as well let him hit, hit away, whatever, you know. And Kid Madden, oh, no, did not get it over the outfielder's head. So we go to the top of the sixth. Kid Madden, he, I don't know. He's getting burned up kind of quickly here. This may actually have to be his last inning. I don't know. King Kelly, he's pitching to King Kelly. And what the heck was that? A foul ball, and he's going to be safe on the foul, on the, uh, on the drop. I guess it was a dropped uh, third strike. Flagstead is up. That should, did they get him? And they did double play. Crazy. All right, bottom of the sixth. Uh, David Hulse up. We better score quickly here. I don't even know what my bullpen consists of. I didn't even look at that. But we're going to need it soon. Duffy Lewis, one down. And he rips a single. Luis Salazar. Luis Salazar is going to hit a fly ball. Whenever it shows the sky in a real high fly ball, it's always a fly out. So two down man at first, Jeff Kent. Come on, let's hit one over that monster. Or hit one the other way, but no. So he's out. Let's look at the check on... Uh, uh, stamina is still not terrible. And this is the seventh inning, so he's doing pretty good. Shortstop and out. One down and Craig Gray back up. Craig Gray back is going to fly out to right. And that brings up Alexis Sarabia. Was he even a real guy? I mean, all right, he hits a single. And Roy Halliday up the dock. And they're going to let him hit, and he's out. And I don't remember him being a great hitter. He was only in the National League for a little part, small part of his career anyway. All right, so we are in the bottom of the seventh. I'm going to warm up the, uh, the bullpen because I think we're going to need it pretty soon. Uh, let's see. I don't really... Um, none of these guys are really... 
guy that I have that I'm even familiar with. Mike Morin, maybe. And Mike Morin looks from the ratings to be the best guy out there, so I'm going to warm him up. And uh, Lance Parrish is at the plate, our catcher. And he's going to hit a deep fly. And he's out. Up steps Tony Clark. Tony Clark is going to fly out. Come on. And Casey Blake. And he rips a double off the doctor, it looks like. So we got Casey Blake at second. Two down. Daryl Spencer up. And he's out. The Dr. Kazin. All right, well, he's got a little gas in the tank. I'll let him go at least one batter, especially lefty on lefty, and he's out. Now we got a righty. I'm going to go to the pen. I don't really even know if the pitcher I've got warming up out there is a righty, but um, he is ready. He is a righty. Okay, good. So Mike Morin is in the game. And he's going to deliver the pitch. And that's going to be a fly to right. Two down. And Tony Phillips up. And Tony Phillips is going to fly out to center. So we're still in a locked in a zero zero game. You might get some uh, free baseball here if you if. Uh, oh man, Mike Warren comes up to the plate. All right, well we'll let him hit. I mean, I'm not taking him out this quick. David Hulse. He is out. He wasn't a good hitter, though, now that I think about it. Duffy Lewis. Duffy Lewis is out. Struck out on an inside pitch, it looked like. All right, so we got Morin, as I suspected, has plenty of gas left, so we're not taking him out just yet. That was a good idea. Although, so, oh, it's King Kelly. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to pitch out. Uh, no, he's not going anywhere. What the heck was that? A balk? It is. All right, now we're going to pitch out, see if we can get him going. If no, can't. But he does strike the guy out. Nice. One out. Now I'm going to try to see if I can pitch out and catch Kelly. Nope. Why are they staying stationary with a 70 runner? That's what I don't understand. But anyway, they hit a fly ball. And now if King Kelly wants to steal 30, he can be my guess. Because it's really, in my opinion, it's just up to Morin to get um, Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts. And Dave Roberts hits one, splits the outfielders, and gets the first run across in the game. And it's for the White Sox. I knew I should have taken the White Sox. All right, so we've got Alexis Sarabia up, and he walks. And of course, you know, Morin is almost gassed now. All right, and I, I've got to hope he at least gets through this inning, and he does. So it's one nothing. I'm going to warm up the bullpen again. Got to definitely do that. We'll get Mark Dewey up. I don't even know who Mark Dewey is. Luis Salazar is up at the plate. And he's going to fly to center. Jeff Kent, come on, man. Hit a home run. No. He grounds out to short. And that brings up Lance Parrish, our last hope. 
and he strikes out, and we lose the game one nothing. Unbelievable. This was crazy. Razor sharp palette blanks Boston. You ain't kidding. We had six hits. Well, they only had five. I mean, really. Madden was good. I mean, seven and a third innings pitch, zero earned runs, three hits, three walks. But Halliday was, I mean, Halliday was better. Give him, give him his due, you know. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that game, and uh, we will come back to this season. It looks very interesting to me. Players from all different um, decades on each team. Very interesting season. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like it. And, of course, if you were watching and you enjoyed the game but you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.